Hi, in this video, we are going to see about a MATLAB project which is entitled as Brain Tumor Detection and Classification Using Artificial Intelligence which is an IEEE 2023 journal paper. So the, this is the base paper which is referred from the IEEE which has the title as Brain Tumor Detection and Classification Using Intelligence Techniques and Overview which is an IEEE Access 2023 journal paper. Before seeing the execution of the project, let me brief about the project. So we all know that brain is one of the important for every human being. So if there is any problem in the brain will affect the whole human system. So an unchecked expansion of brain tissues is generally known as the brain tumor. So this produces a pressure in the skull and the interfaces with the brain's natural functioning. Basically this brain tumor comes in two different types that is benign and malignant. So these are the two classes also that we are going to use in the project. So this benign is the first type that is benign is non-cancerous and the other type that is malignant is cancerous. So malignant tumor grow quickly because it is a cancerous type so it goes quickly in the brain and damages the normal tissue and replicate themselves in other parts of the body also. So these kinds of uh, trouble is being given by the brain tumor. So early detection of the brain tumor is will be protecting the human death and also will be useful for the patients. So here in this project we are going to implement the brain tumor detection and classification. We are going to use two different models. So first one is like for brain tumor detection we will be using YOLO v2 algorithm and for the tumor detection we will be using mobile v2 architecture. So these two models is implemented in the project and we have developed the project in MATLAB environment and as I said we will be having two classes that is benign and malignant and uh, uh, we have achieved the accuracy of 97.14 percentage. So these are the things that is mentioned in the abstract and kindly note that in the base paper the authors have used the uh, that is a survey paper and because they have they have been listing out all the details of the brain tumor detection which is done by all the authors till now. So we cannot implement all the techniques with all the data set. So we are going to implement only with the YOLO V2 for the, uh, for the tumor detection and for classification we will be using mobile V2 architecture and we will be using MRI scan images, magnetic resonance images. So this is all the things that is mentioned in the abstract. So this is our proposed abstract and this in this existing system we will dis we'll discuss about the existing things that is used in the uh, traditional methods and also in the existing models. And here we have listed out the disadvantages of the existing system which contain manual interruption, limited automation, lack of real time analysis, limited sensitivity variability dependency on expertise, inability to handle data sets, non-adaptive to new information, inconsistent quality, high cost and resource consumption, limited support for complex cases, risk of misinterruption, traditional FCM and K-means algorithm and noisy sensitive limitations. So these are the things that has been listed in the disadvantage of the existing system and here you can see about the proposed system which contains about the uh, YOLO that is you only look once version 2 algorithm and about the uh, mobile net mobile net v2 architecture and here comes the advantage of the proposed system and here you can see the system architecture which contains the input of the brain MRI image and pre-processing is done by enhancement of AHE and resizing and brain tumor reduction is done using YOLO v2 and brain tumor classification is using mobile net v2 cnn and uh, it is classified as benign and malignant based on the network train model and here you can see the modules that is used in the project and 
as I've intimated, the coding language is MATLAB and the tool that we are using is MATLAB or 2021J and this is the reference of the project that we have used for the base paper. So now I'll show you the data set part. So the data set part contains two folders that is benign and malignant. So these are the things that is available in benign and these are the things that is available in the malignant. So now let us execute the project. So first copy the source code location. So I'm cop so in the source code folder, there is full coding folder. So till that I am just copying this location. Now open MATLAB or 2021J. So now in the address bar, I will just paste the location that I have copied and click enter. So now you can see the project files have been loaded in the left side panel. So now just select the final dot yum and right click it and then select run so now kindly wait till you can see the GUI here you can see the system isn't busy and now you can see the project GUI which contains the title brain tumor detection and classification using artificial intelligence so here you can see the process type that is we will be giving the test image pre-processing brain tumor detection brain tumor classification performance analysis let me show you one by one so first select the test image so here you can select the images that is provided in the test image folder or the train image folder whichever you wanted you can select so these are the things that is available in the train images folder and these are the things that is available in the test images folder so now let me uh, select this one first image and then click so this is the image that i have selected that has been uh, previewed here in the first test uh, the test mri brain image second thing is like i'll give go for the pre-processing pro model so just click the pre-processing so you, here you can see the pre-processing is done and the resized image is displayed here and here you can see the contrast enhanced image using ahe is being applied here and uh, next comes the brain tumor detection part which is done using yolo v2 just select this brain tumor so it takes few seconds to process So now you can see the train network model is loaded for the brain tumor reduction message click ok so now you can see the brain tumor detection based on the yolo v2 it has detected the brain tumor part and now it is going to classify the brain tumor so as i said there are two classes it is going to classify it so just click the brain tumor classification part so again you can see the train network uh, model loaded for the classification part and click ok and now you can see the brain tumor classification result using the mobile net v2 that is classified as malignant so this is as i said there are uh, two classes benign and malignant so this is a cancerous type malignant is the cancerous type that is being classified using the mobile net v2 and uh, let me check the performance analysis part so just click the performance analysis so it takes some time for the performance analysis calculation so kindly wait till you get this completed message and click ok so now let me show you one by one so here you can see the confusion matrix so which contains the class benign and malignant with the true and the predicted label and kindly note this this performance analysis part uh, is is a constant one it does not varies according to the input image that you are giving me so even if it is classified benign or malignant you will be getting the same thing because this has been coded from the code that is the formula that we have used so here you can see the confusion matrix of the project and next one comes the performance analysis so in the performance analysis you can see the accuracy precision recall and f score values and in the and here you can see the formulas that is used for the performance analysis that is accuracy and precision and the recall value and finally comes the the chart which contains the performance analysis based on the accuracy precision recall and f score value so this is the classified result percentage according to that it is that so you can also save these results for example i'll go and click uh, save as uh, you can just let me save in the bmp image i'll save as chart 
this you may just save a chart let me close this and you can also save this uh, performance analysis desktop i'll select as uh, analysis and confusion matrix also you can save uh, the desktop let me save as cf and save and now you can see the chart part which we have exported and the analysis part and the confusion matrix part so if you wanted to check with the so these are the things that has been calculated and here we have been shown the details in the command prompt and let me run again the final dot yum so now let me give a test image now let me give uh, the other image and give pre-processing and here you can see the resized image and contrast enhancement using AIG. Let me give brain tumor detection. And now the training model is loaded for the brain tumor detection. And now you can see the detection part by which is done by the YOLO. And now let us classify the tumor by taking the brain tumor detection classification. and now you can see this time it has been classified as benign that is it is a non-cancerous part so in this way you can check with the other images let me go to the train images part this time and let me select an image uh, a different image let me select this and give pre-processing and let me give brain tumor detection and the train network is loaded now for tumor detection and now you can see the detection part and now let us classify by clicking the brain tumor classification and now you can see it is classified as malignant so in this way you can check with the other images also for for being short i have just shown you with the few images you can also check with the other parts of the images that we are given in the test and train folders and uh, now let me close and this is all about the project brain tumor detection and classification using artificial intelligence and using MATLAB and thank you for watching.